Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT and welcome to our Flash Action Script 3 drag and drop tutorial. Give the Easter eggs to Stickman. What we can do is go to where the basket of eggs is, click the mouse and hold that button down and you can move the basket round. Let go of the mouse and that releases it. Click onto it again, hold down the button, we can move it, let go of the mouse button, it stays in place. So Stickman now has his Easter eggs and he's happy. Okay, we're going to make all of this on the stage in Flash and then use some Action Script 3 code that's going to control the movement of the mouse. So let's get started. Over here in Flash, we just go Create New Flash File Action Script 3. Now I want to change the size down the bottom here in the properties. Uh, because we're putting this onto our blog post, we're just going to make it a little smaller than usual and make it 520 by 350. But you could leave it at that other size, standard flash 550 by 400 if you wanted to. Alright, what we need to do is start drawing our stick man. So let's get out the drawing tools. Normally this would be on the rectangle tool. If you hold down on that, it's like opening up a drawer and we'll get on the oval tool. Okay, we need black and we'll go for size 3 on this and we'll draw the stick man's head. Alright, so here it is. While we're still on that oval tool, we'll just make one of his eyes here and we can now get on the black arrow tool and we'll move that eye across a bit. It wants to snap a whole bunch of things into position here and if we hold down the ALT key we can copy that eye with the black arrow tool and move it across a bit so he's got a couple of eyes there. Alright, now let's make his mouth. We use the line tool. Now just draw his mouth here and I'll tell you why. It's because we want him to be a smiley happy stick figure. So if we now click off there and get onto the black arrow tool again at the top we can move near to that line and see how it goes to a sort of a, a round curve near the black arrow. That means we're in bending mode so now we can push down the mouse button and bend that into a shape. Just move away and click off it, click back onto it and then we can move it into space and we've got a happy stick man. Alright, let's finish our stick man off using the line tool. Again we'll have black and we'll have a thickness of three so he needs to sort of like come down and have some legs and arms. Now I'm just going to pause here and finish that off. I won't bore you with that part and then we'll come back. Alright then, so we've just used the line tool um, clicking along to make some lines there to finish our stick man. Now next we need his um, basket of Easter eggs. So let's go file and import and we'll import to library here, import to library we'll go to a folder where we've got that basket of eggs that we found on the internet and saved into there and then we will uh, find them. Alright, so let's just go to thumbnails here so we can see it. There's our Easter basket eggs. Open them up and they should come into the library. Alright, so click on them over here in the library and you can see they're there. Now just before we bring them in, let's do the text. So onto the T here, the text tool, click in. We need to make, we're going to use Joker Man as our font with a size of 30 and color of red. Okay, so we just picked off all those fonts. We went to Joker Man, that's the one we wanted. Size 30 and red. So let's write in here, um, give the Easter eggs to Stickman. Alright, and then we can go back onto the black arrow tool at the top, move that around and get it into position. Alright, uh, we might just click here on the gray part of the stage and change the background as well. I think we had a blue color uh, that we were using for our stick man. Alright, let's bring our eggs in. How we do that is we go across the library to where the eggs are and just grab those guys and pull them out and across. Now they're way too big so go to the third tool down, the free transform tool, click on that and we can then scale those guys right down to a decent sort of size, just grabbing the edges, moving around with the mouse until we've got our basket of eggs in position there. Alright, now on the eggs 
this is where we get into uh, the action script part of things where we've got to turn them into a movie clip so just go back to the black arrow tool and get onto the egg so that they're selected right now we need to now go modify and convert to symbol or you could just press the F8 key straight away to do this but modify convert to symbol we want this type to be movie clip and we need to give it a name and we're going to give it a name MC for movie clip then an underscore and eggs alright so that's going to be the symbols name and we say OK and you can see MC eggs movie clip has come over here on the right hand side into our library down the bottom in the properties it has movie clip and it's got instance of MC eggs we need to give it an instance name this instance name is very important this is going to connect it up to the action script 3 code that we're writing so we got to make sure in the action script code when we write it that we use lowercase MC underscore eggs exactly as we've spelled it there and we'll just press enter and click off there and we're done okay on the eggs we've got MC eggs movie clip Alright, so this first layer here, if we go up into the layers, uh, let's just double click on that and rename that because that's basically our stage. And what we need to do now is make a new layer for the action script code. Alright, so down here there's some symbols, insert layer, uh, insert layer folder. We want to use the left hand one here, insert layer, click on that double click on that layer 2 that's being made and that's going to be our action script 3 so we'll just call it AS 3.0 some people call those ones actions and other things make sure we've got that highlighted in blue now we need to get into the coding part of flash into the actions alright you can press the F9 key or you can go window and actions and that takes you into the coding page alright now we've already got our code written here in um, notepad so when you do slash slash at the start which is down the bottom of the keyboard under um, this slash figure forward slash that's comments and that means that that won't be part of the action script code so we've just written some comments there to explain how things are working then we start the code down here with the MC eggs add event listener for mouse down and if the mouse button is down okay and it's clicked on to MC eggs that's what this will detect and it'll do a function called start moving alright the start moving function is defined here and it uses flash's own start drag okay which is a thing which means we can now hold down the mouse button and move that thing around now we need to check after they've started dragging whether they release the mouse button and it's time to stop dragging so that's what this other part is here MC eggs an event listener to check whether the mouse button's gone up that they've released the mouse if it has we do a function called stop moving All right, and the stop moving function here is at the very bottom stop moving it's a mouse event and we want to stop the dragging round and just dump that egg basket where it is alright so this code is on our website and you can see it there to see what you need to type in so we're just going to grab the whole lot of that and uh, control C go across to that action script window and then control and V to paste it in alright and you can see our code is in there now um, pretty basic and notice we've got MC underscore eggs and that spelling matches exactly that instant name on the stage now there's a little X up the corner that you can just close that and your action scripts finished just I keep stressing see how we did MC little eggs here for the instance name of that basket well in the action script code we've used the exact same name so let's uh, be brave now and press control and enter and see if this guy works alright so here's our little thing here we can go to the egg basket and we'll push our mouse button down we can grab a hold of that and move it and there we are stick man's got it in one hand we can grab it again release the mouse button he's got it on the other hand or heck he could even balance it on his head if he wanted to alright so that's basically it that is a basic flash action script 3 drag and drop project uh, build it all on the stage and then the action script which we saw remember we go window actions or F9 the action script code of course you need to be not on the stage layer like I was then but on the AS3 layer when you do that 
and then there is the code all right adding the event listener for when the mouse button goes down on top of MC eggs that'll start the drag again having an event listener running there all the time checking out has the mouse clicked up on MC eggs if it has well, let me can just stop drag and release that object where it is all right then so remember you can go to our website Passy's World of ICT to find details of this along with the YouTube video. The link for that should be in the um, details of the video. Otherwise, just go to our site, Passy's World of ICT. You can go to a search box here and you can just type in flash, um, drag, and drop and search for it. What should happen is up the top, you, they need to go back up to the top of our website. It'll have here. AS3 drag and drop, that's the one you want. You click on it and it will take you to that page. Okay, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this is going to lead into another tutorial later on. So uh, have a go at this one and then we'll put another one up later for you guys to do. Okay then, have a great day.